a big difference between a knife attack <laughs> and a knife threat. It's huge. A threat is this. Hey man, I'm gonna fuck you up or hey, I'm gonna do something bad or I'm gonna hurt you. There's time. It's a threat. I can look to do things, right? An attack is him already just going. This is a very different situation, right? So train to the situation that you may find yourself in. I don't know how many of us are living where people wanna run up to us and just start stabbing us, but if you live that lifestyle, train a little harder, right? Hey guys, Raul here from Fieldcraft Survival. I'm gonna give you some tips and some training things you can do with your guys, your people, whoever you're training with. Uh, it's part of our whole curriculum, but this foundations part is hand fighting, which incorporates wrist ties, bicep ties, and some drags just to get into better positions to pin the arms, right? So what do we know about guns, knives, sticks, bats? They're all held by the hands right so it's called a handgun it's called a uh, a knife that's held in your hand right it's called handcuffs all these things cops carry as well they're all called hand something so leading that into the fact that we should be controlling the part that controls the hand right something simple and as an example uh also i'm joined here by dan professional uh, uh ufc fighter and now, uh, lucky for us, one of our coaches that helps with combatives, uh, grab the gun and point it. So something as simple as this, right? A lot of other martial arts try to defeat and move this thing by going here. For us, yes, we do want to move the gun away, but if I can simply control the, the part of uh, the body that's holding the gun, right? So if, if I miss this, which is a little smaller, and I go here, him trying to point this at me, and he's a strong guy, point that barrel at me. So me doing this on top of moving away, helps me get away from the dangerous end of the gun, which is the end that fires the bullets, right? The muzzle. So if I'm too close, or if the gun's here, or the gun's anywhere where I can move and start to pin, now he has to do a lot of motions to do this. Now he's on his heels. I'm constantly putting pressure, putting him on his heels, moving backwards, uh, which means I'm gaining the fight, right? And again, these are drills you're gonna practice with your people. Uh, so work them slow, then build it stronger. And then at the end of this, when you guys have figured out some of these little things, your partner will give you more and more resistance, creating a better and better scenario as you develop. So right now he's just giving me enough. He's letting me work these little things. As it gets harder, he's gonna put more pressure into pushing the gun. So now I'm actually fighting and things are developing. That's what you want. You want that kind of resistance as you progress, right? So put that away. We talked about the hands being the delivery methods, right? So the hands deliver the intent of the weapon that they're holding, right? If I learn to control things like the hand, two things here, right? I can control the hand, swap the hand, and start to work to the outsides of these things. Here, here, I'm starting to work to the outside. So a simple drill to get you comfortable, is, it's just a hand fighting drill. Most wrestlers have done it since they were little kids. Um, so we're just gonna be in tight here. You, for safety reasons, we suggest people go head to head, but for this reason here, just for you guys can see the drill and start to work it, we're just gonna be floating here, athletic in nature, so we can move around with each other and around each other. But the whole goal is this. The whole goal is to trap wrists. He's gonna trap my wrist. I'm gonna trap, he's gonna let go. He's gonna trap the other one. And I'm looking to just peel, grab, grab, peel, grab, grab, peel. And we're just learning to catch each other's wrists as we're playing in this little pocket, right? So we're both, if you noticed it, which is really great to have people that with experience, is we both kept our wrists in the game. So we're gonna drill again. We're just grabbing wrists, boom. We're both staying in the game and just adding hands back into it. We're just in here. What happens is people tend to play this. He'll start grabbing me and they start going like this. That defeats the purpose, right? Stay in the game, have fun with it. You're gonna get caught. But the beauty of getting caught is this. If he's holding this hand, what do I know? That hand's open. This hand's free, right? And I know that hand's free because it's not touching me. So danger, danger, potential, right? Also things that I know. I know that this is touching me, so I know where this hand is. So without even looking here and I'm looking at you, I can find this hand simply because he's connected to me. Right? So knowing that in these drills, this drill is going to build the sense uh, it's going to desensitize you to uh, being afraid of things in the hands while making you better adapted to grabbing the wrist and controlling parts of the hand that have things in them. So now if he has a gun and he's here, I'm moving, grabbing, starting to control, create the angles. Let's put that down. If he has a knife, same thing. The knife is there. I'm looking to grab and maintain and move. So I'm controlling this part here. Now, a big difference between a knife attack <laughs> and a knife threat, right? It's huge. A threat is this. Hey man, 
I'm gonna fuck you up or hey, I'm gonna do something bad or I'm gonna hurt you, there's time. It's a threat, I can look to do things, right? An attack is him already just going. This is a very different situation, right? So train to the situation that you may find yourself in. I don't know how many of us are living where people want to run up to us and just start stabbing us, but if you live that lifestyle, train a little harder, right? Uh, same thing with handguns. If somebody's already shooting at you, they're assassinating you. It's a very different uh, modality in training or re response to the, to the event than if I come up to him with a gun and I'm like, Hey, give me your shit, right? This is a threat. I'm using this to intimidate, simply coming offline, not letting this be in the way, redirecting the wrist, and then gaining control. Boom. Now, I can do whatever I fucking want, and just him, with that little bit of motion, stops this. Yes, things will start to develop, I'll start to pull, but he's adapting. As I'm closing, he's closing, he's pinning it to me. Now it's harder for me to do this, now he's going to a better position, moving to the rear. We talked about those angles, we want angles, we wanna be away, we wanna be as far away from this end as possible, right? This leads to him to be, being able to pin here, that hand can come through, pin here. Now I'm really isolated and I can't do anything. I start to do dumb things like go reach for this, he can do takedowns, there's so much he can do from here. Kneeing the thighs from the back, so he's breaking me down, takes me over, down, boom, now he's controlling me. All from the simple drill that started right here. Same thing on your end. You do the drag. Boom. Working your way to the rear of the individual by simply playing this small game of trap, catch, and release, getting good at knowing where the hands are. So when stuff is free floating here, simply start to grab, start to move, start to control, make way for either your guns, your knives, if you're military, handcuffs, or law enforcement. All of that adds to your ability and your confidence as an individual, knowing that you can stop things. You don't have to always resort to higher levels of force. I'd be like, well shit, here we go. And we start working the guy because we understand what delivers the, the, the threat, what delivers the intent, the hands, right? So even big stuff, I'm already wrapped up, he gets away. We're talking about bicep ties and all those other things. I'm here, I can't really reach that hand. He starts to move it. I can look to stop the hand by going to the bicep, then going to the hand, right? Peeling, turning, angles, always moving, always staying live. Because movement is life, right? Go drill it. <laughs>